If it says 90 days for holding elections, it is our duty to say that. It is not our choice. It is not our choice. It is our duty to say that. Instead of finding a reason why we should avoid to say that. This is what has happened. You call it controversy. I'm sorry. I'm not worthy of controversy. I'm a very humble person. You say you support us, please don't say that. I am just one of the members of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. If you stand up for the constitution and the law, then you must support the Supreme Court of Pakistan. And not any individual. We have no existence individually. Our existence is as a unit, as a constitutional organ. And that is how we function. But the important thing is that the Supreme Court, when it speaks on merit, its judgment has moral authority. That becomes even more important when those judgments are not appealed or no review is filed then that means no one has any objection to the judgment. If a review is filed, then it will be heard. Because no judgment is binding unless it becomes final. But if a judgment is not challenged, then it becomes final. So let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens now. And... Uh, I am optimistic that the people of Pakistan, the leaders of Pakistan, the institutions of Pakistan are all committed to the constitution. Do you know that in this context, the leaders of Pakistan, the political leadership of Pakistan agreed to start negotiations which have not ended yet. This is what we were informed. We have nothing to do with that. But at least they are conscious that they have a duty to comply the constitution. And we are there to support that effort. Otherwise, our judgment is there. It has a force of its own. It may not be implemented today, but it will last to the test of time and shall be implemented tomorrow. Now, I have not much more to say except to thank our hosts, Mr. Samuel Piare, where is he? Mr. Samuel Piare, the Honorable Bishop, the uh, pastors and the bishops and I don't remember exactly what your offices are, but uh, it's a matter of privilege to be here. I haven't told you that one of the most respected citizens of Pakistan for whom Thousands of people have love and affection. He is sitting in here amongst us. He is devoted to education. Because he feels, and rightly so, that education is the source of progress for the individual and for his community and for society as a whole because he comes back and shares his education. Who has given away money time, effort, love, support, everything to students for, him, for giving them good education. He is the founder of one of the best institutions, academic institutions in the country, which started as a business school but today offers engineering, law, tomorrow it will be medicine, I'm sure. I'm not sure if it is, there's a medical school yet or no. Not yet. And I'm talking about Sayyid Babur and Let's give him a... It's 
uh, delightful to meet wonderful people. Uh, and uh, as Sayyid Babarali had a role in my life also. So thank you. <clears throat> my other great benefactor sits here, Justice Tasadur Zainjilani, totally committed to the law, so gentle and so refined, such a good example of judicial character, conduct, bearing and delivery. I salute him also because one of the great advantages in life or the blessings of life is when you have heroes to look after. So I am very lucky in that respect. Within my profession, within my vocation of judges and my profession of the law, amongst lawyers. I have come across such outstanding people. I cannot stop thanking the Almighty for those associations. This is a memorable occasion for me. Thank you very much, all of you. My best wishes. And uh, the implementation bench is always there. File an application and let's see what happens.